So today I will be talking about the very basics of uh, writing a research paper and its basic parts. So this is my own research paper which I have written in the past and it is in Emerald Journal. The link is given over there on the above of this paper and this was also in a field of Six Sigma. So why I have brought this paper over here so that I want to share it with you. Like I want you to see the practical research, how it goes and what are the parts of a research. So first of all, for any research paper, it has to be formatted according to a different research journal style. So many journals will have a different style. Like in this, we have a different style over here. Like my abstract is having different portions. But when we are going for any other journal, you might not be having uh, like abstract having different portion. So basically the very basics I will discuss today in this video is that very first thing you need, uh, you will be having a very first part which is called abstract. So abstract can have different portions and like over here the purpose of abstract is to give an overview about your research paper like what this paper is going to deliver to the readers. What is the design methodology you used and what were your findings, your implications and the originality of this research. So basically abstract can be anything like the user will read it and then it will move it to your research. So the very basic is the abstract. Then we have usually keywords in our research keywords give you basically overview of like in which area your research falls in so basically over here it is like so you can have many keywords as you like in your research that depends on the type of your research over here you can also see in this paper there is also a type of paper so usually when you are going for a research like you will have a paper type this is research paper then you have a review paper then you have a white paper and there are many different types of paper over here in different journal style this is emerald one you will find the journal names volume number and further doi details so moving further down there to make your so very first portion in your research is the introduction portion Introduction is the uh, like telling you about the search paper what is going to be in the initial phase like in this one I discussed about like the important factors of the project. I talked about how projects are uh, successful what is Six Sigma and like the introduction about your topic and uh, and then uh, you will have some references over here over here like uh, in this style the style of your research paper also depends on the nature of your journal some prefer apa style some prefer mla style so this will be depending on which journal you are submitting so very first portion is the introduction and introduction can have also sub portion so in this journal uh, i had a research motivation portion i had a organization of paper portion so basically even there are no headings you can still divide your introduction into these two parts so basically you will tell why you conducted this research what is the unique thing it is providing you what is the organization of this paper like my first section will introdu introduce my six sigma methodologies my section two will provide hypothesis formulation my third will be the framework and then a case study uh, which i have undertaken in this research uh, it is tested and validated through my framework and section 4 and 5 contain the detailed results and then section 6 is the conclusion so basically the the organization of paper depends on the nature of journal some journal will have more uh, like type of uh, section than some journal will have less so the very first part, uh, part of your any paper will be to introduce toward what is research the second part in every research is like theory and hypothesis so basically you can have like uh, in some journal there is a, a portion which is called like questionnaire portion or we can call it hypothesis portion. So this is the part where you will define your basic hypothesis. What is your research problem? What is your uh, research scope and all of these things. This portion can have further details like I have written so many things over here because I wanted uh, my theory to be like uh, accurate and I want it to be like uh, uh, discussing all those details of my project. So this can be a little bit no longer over here. See, I have a hypothesis over here H1. So the negative effect of inflation on project performance is enhanced in absence of proper risk management framework. So basically you can define your hypothesis over here. Then you can also define your different kinds of hypothesis and some different details according to that. So your research paper have different portions. In my next video, I will go in further details on this. Uh, then if you go see, I have, have more hypothesis. 
then you have some if you have some equations you will also define it now the third section in some paper uh, you will have a framework or in some papers they will require you to define the methodology similarly for section 2 in some research paper you will have a literature review in some uh, researches you will have a theory and framework so that depends the nature of the journal i will also give you example of my another paper which have a different format so in this one i want to show you this proposed framework the third portion it has my pre-execution framework and my framework figures like how i have implemented this all and what i suggest this similarly when you go uh, forward to it then this is my case study implementation one so this is based on like what i did in my research and how i used it uh, in and according to my hypoth hypothesis so basically this is all about implementation portion so some of the papers will have like a result section and discussion section over here some will have like framework section here so that depends you can also use uh, figures in your research paper you can also use tables so nothing is restricted uh, unless it is like related to your content so moving forward if you see i have different types of figures over here used here like color figure black and white figures then there is my results and discussion portion separately from it because i had a like case study overview i implemented this paper in a real time environment so that is the reason i have to go with the results and discussion separately so this will define my like what techniques i have used why i use this method and what is the outcome of this one so over here you can see that results interpretation so you can say that you can use this to define your result discuss your results and relate it back to your uh, literature review or your theory so uh, because i was using a framework so i have to use this to interpret my research framework and relate it to back so there are two types of research keep in mind quantitative and qualitative so this one was a quantitative research not a qualitative research i will also show uh, show you a qualitative research and this methodology is different so the very last portion uh, is future work and conclusion in which you define that what is your future work how you this is going to contribute to the future and what is the conclusion of this one so this can be a little bit longer and a little bit short shorter depending on the requirements of your uh, journal so basically in this very basic video we have seen that how we can organize our research paper into different portions depending on the need of the journal the very last portion important portion is the references so many of the journal will require you to quote references from its own journal or from reputable journals so i have some references from the same one keep in mind your all references should be from very good journals peer review journals and they should be like not older than like five uh, years so basically in period of five years you can include all those references so i have a little bit more references because this work required uh, like more uh, researches and like uh, in-depth research and this is like how it completes so this is a biography about me because this paper was uh, like in 2012 so at that time i was a certified six sigma master black belt and i was having a five year experience at that time using the dmac methodology so basically uh, about that till now you can add it up so i have more experience now in six sigma methodology and uh, my email address is also given over here you got it from here so uh, you can also send me email if you want to receive this copy of this paper and discuss about this first so basically this is the overview of this paper and in this paper we have discussed the very basics so in next paper i will go into a little bit more details of like the sections of the research paper and i will also try to bring a different research style or different research methodology and paper style for you so i hope so you like this video share with your colleagues and fellows thank you